What up, YouTube? Topaz J saying I got a pretty good show lined up for you today, man. First, we're going to jump into the news. Then, we're going to jump into this album review from Mac Miller, man. Then, we're going to jump into an article from DownloadPaz.com. But before then, let's do a brief instrumental from underground producer C Fat. So the Billboard chart dropped, man, in which Travis Scott did some pretty damn good numbers, man. Moved around 70,000 units. And shit, man, that was more than what I projected from him, man. So good shit for him. And then Scarface just got left out of the top 10. He came in at number 11, man, moving about 23.6 thousand units. Which, that's a little disappointing, but yet at this stage of his career, what do you really expect? But... Anyway, on to today's album review, and it's to that Mac Miller Good AM, man. And I came into this project expecting some pretty damn good music because he has some pretty damn good tracks leading up to it, man. And I got to say, in the beginning, I was fucking getting that shit, dude. Starting out with that intro. Doors, even though it's just a simple intro and such, man, but yet that production that was laid on it by Tyler the Creator, it kind of lets you know that Tyler the Creator is more talented with the beast than what he's letting off. And I definitely did enjoy that shit. Then it jumps into that brand name, and that brand name was fucking dope. And then that rush hour was fucking dope. But then there was a big drop off in quality of music from that point all the way down there to the end of the album with Jump. And the reason why is because those tracks right there are pretty much centered around quality production. Like, even though throughout this album, Mac Miller has very witty punchlines and shit that he's spitting, man. But yet, he's still not on that level where he can carry a track on his own. Like, he needs dope-ass production and quality songs in order to carry him as an artist. See, the other tracks come off as more of an evolved version of watching movies with the sound off and shit. And I say more evolved because he's not doing the beats and the beats are much damn better, but yet still, they still focus around his lyrics and such. Like, look at songs like Godspeed, man. Like, that song could have been dope if he went in like that beat completely showcased him but yet his flow just wasn't crisp enough and his balls weren't potent enough in order for that to become a really dope song look at that win in rome track man that was his super high energy track and i'm not saying that he did a bad job on it his flow was crisp man he did pretty decent but yet his delivery really took away from the energy then you look at that ros of my love pretty much his female friendly song that he dropped for the album man and you can just tell that that just isn't his forte at all and since we talking about things that are wrong about this album, man. What about those skits that he had, man, in which I'm really trying hard to realize what was the point of them even being there. Like, truthfully, they sounded like, okay, I can't say nigga on my track, but I can get a black dude to say nigga because his story that he was telling wasn't that fucking interesting. Sure, it kind of went into the Break the Law track, man, but it really didn't make that much fucking sense to keep it 100, man. I really didn't like that shit. Overall, man, just 4 out of 17 tracks, man, and I would recommend people to go ahead and buy those individual tracks, man, instead of the whole damn thing, and I give this joint like a 6 out of 10. But anyway, on to today's article from DownloadPads.com, and today's article is about dealing with labels, because here's the thing, when you've been doing your motherfucking thing, you did, the labels pretty much will call you, and a lot of people, when these labels call, they get caught up in the moment, they be like, oh, I'm finally getting the recognition that I deserve for all the work that I put in and shit, man, and by you doing that, man, you're giving these people more power than what you really should, you just got to understand them as a business, fuck the nostalgia shit, fuck the whole credibility type thing, man, because these people are only coming to you so they can take advantage of what you're doing and make money off of you. Having the name on your project don't really change a goddamn thing. Really just having the promotion will change things for you, man. So you gotta go into these meetings with these people knowing that shit. If you're not gonna give me no damn promotion you're gonna try to put me on the shelf, I might as well be doing my own thing on the underground. I hope you enjoyed the show. You can follow me at Twitter up there and you can go to DownloadPads.com that's down there to read today's article.